Getting foreign investment into Montenegro is crucial to allowing the country, with a population of only around 600,000, to reach its goals. The man tasked with forming the next government has big plans. We want to become uh, Singapore of Europe, uh, the most business-friendly country in Europe. Uh, obviously, our uh, geopolitical goal is uh, European Union and uh, joining EU. So that's, that's something that we will be working very hard on. Montenegro received around $1.24 billion in foreign direct investment last year. FDI was up around a quarter in 2022. The majority of that coming in the form of equity investments with just over $480 million spent on real estate purchases and $240 million or so put directly into banks or businesses. With 300 kilometres of beautiful coastline as well as spectacular mountains, tourism represents the largest chunk of Montenegro's current GDP. It's also been the sector that has received large amounts of foreign investment as big hotel groups move in. The Minister for Finance points to the large infrastructure projects that Chinese investment has made possible. We have completed the first section of the highway to Serbia and we expect to continue uh, construction and connect with Serbia as soon as possible, I hope two to three years. Uh, it means that the first section was completed by the Chinese company CRBC uh, with credit support uh, with uh, Chinese Exim Bank and they are interested in continue with the project. Montenegro's aim to join the European Union in the near future has also made it an attractive prospect for investment. However, despite candidate status, talk of accession to the bloc has slipped from focus recently due to the ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Getting that back on the agenda in Brussels will be a job for the new government here when it takes up post. Peter Oliver, CGTN, Podgorica, Montenegro.